Hi, my name is Chris Smith, and this is a short walkthrough on how you can generate some mock data and stand it up at a REST API endpoint. Check it out. Okay, so let's dive right in. To generate this mock data set, we're gonna be using the retool.com forward slash utilities. And this is a set of tools for doing all sorts of helpful things like converting to different data formats or generating apps or uploading data into your database. And for us, we're gonna choose the generate API from mock data. And this will allow us to choose what kind of sample data set we wanna generate. And you can either choose from a few options. One is say a public data set like food types or cities or Nobel prizes. If you already have a CSV file of some of your data, you can upload that here. And for this walkthrough, I'm gonna choose build your own. When I click next, it takes me to a table here which I can go in and edit individual values and say delete different columns if need be and especially add new columns. So let's add one for email and choose this data type. And we can see an email column has been generated with some randomly generated email addresses. We can also add a new column here and let's call this company name. And we can see that there's a set of company names here that we can generate. But there's also a whole lot of other options like names, payment types, company logos, user IDs, credit cards, etc. So I'll choose company name. And this table now looks good with the data set that's going to work for my UI or whatever it is I'm building. So I can click next. And now let's just give this API endpoint a name and click generate. And now we have our endpoint with all of the individual git, post, put, patch, delete, request types. We can check out one of the URLs here and see the values that come in from getting that data. We can also copy over some specific curl request and run that in our terminal. And lastly, you can also do things like copy this out as a JSON here. You can copy the SQL statement so you could insert it directly into your SQL database. And you can even generate a CRUD app uh, directly within this web app. So I hope this is helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and we'll see you next time.